This video is sponsored by PageProof. Let's take a look at the very first project, and this is an InDesign project. Now, imagine I'm working on this food magazine. Again, this is just a quick concept of this magazine, and I need to work on a few very specific locations in this magazine, and I'm gonna use AI inside of Adobe InDesign to help me out with these very specific scenarios. So let's take a quick look here. So imagine I'm here on this page, and I have this image of this uh, charcuterie board at the bottom. There's some sausage and some olives and stuff. It looks delicious. However, I am looking for an additional cup of olives. Now, clearly there is a certain scene here. So there's a top view of this image. There's some wood in the background. And I'm wondering if I can find something that looks visually similar to this photo shoot, but just olives. Because I want to take the little cup of olives, put a path around that, and then just have that sitting here somewhere next to my text or maybe in the text using text wrap, I'm not quite sure. Now, the thing is I could potentially go to Adobe Firefly and then just generate that image from scratch. However, I, I need to I need this to look visually similar to the look and feel of this image I have here. And again, absolutely love Firefly, but I'm gonna be this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this, um, I'm gonna do this as quickly as possible. So let's take a look at what we can do. Now, if I simply just select this image, there's one thing you can do that you probably didn't know of, and that is you can right-click the image and you can choose find similar images, okay? Now, when I do that, take a look at my CC libraries panel, which is on the right side of my screen here. I'll click this image and look what happens. It's gonna use the CC libraries panel and run a visual search based on my selection to find similar looking images. And these images, they might, look like they're all exactly the same, but if you look closely, you can actually see that there are multiple changes in these images. So the composition is slightly different. So I believe these are all images coming from the exact same photo shoot. Um, and so it was able to positively identify uh, all these images in the same series. Now, these are currently um, clearly different looking images here, and I can basically find what I'm looking for. However, I'm just looking for this little pot of olives, right? Look what you can do. If you select this image, and if you just use the selecting tool just to close this frame and say, this is what I wanna focus on, and then you right click and you choose find similar images again, it's gonna rerun the same process, but it's gonna take what you currently have selected, taking into account how you set the bounding box boundaries, and now I have something that looks completely different. So you can basically choose which area to crop or hide and then run that command. Now, if I would have just taken a screenshot of that portion of the image, then I would have to upload that screenshot manually into the Adobe stock web page to run the same visual search command. Not in InDesign, it just uses that visual search pattern to find what I'm looking for. And now based on that, you can always just come in here and try and find the image you're looking for. So let's just say, for example, just for the sake of it here, that I'm trying to find something that looks, let's say something like this here. I'll click the plus icon to save this preview to my current library, which is called Mag, which stands for magazine. And based on that, I can come in and now just place this as a linked image. And I'll just come in and oops, obviously don't select this or it's gonna place it into the frame. Let's try this again, place linked, here we go. And now based on this, you can maybe come in and now run this quick concept just by maybe adding a path um, across or around this shape here. Again, I'll do this really, really quick just for this um, demonstration purpose. And I'll just quickly close it, oh, close this one as well like so. I'll move this just a tiny little bit here. There we go. And now I'm just gonna select the contents of the frame. I'm gonna paste this into this one and now it looks like it has been extracted from the image. I'll just double click the corner here just to put this frame back where it came from. And now I have something to play around with here. Now, the interesting thing about this is that I can now apply, let's say a text wrap effect of a few pixels. I can put this somewhere in my text and because this is something that's still linked to the, to the original library, I can actually click this little shopping cart icon here and then license this image automatically from Adobe Stock and then have it uh, feed me the high resolution version. 
Now, if you're not an Adobe Stock subscriber, fear not because what you can do is you can actually use Adobe Stock to find free content as well. Now, unfortunately, there's no button or filter to click here inside of Adobe InDesign. If you click the filter option here, uh, you can basically filter here uh, based on um, content type in the library itself. There's not really a lot that you can do from here. However, if you do go to the Adobe Stock webpage here, and if you find any, any image you're trying, you're trying to find here, you can always switch this category from images to free, and it will give you access to the entire free database. So you have over 800,000 different assets, just so you know. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.